Welcome to the Heart of Florida Business 411 studio where we discuss current trends in business and economy for East Polk County. I'm your host, Jane Adams Waters. In studio interviews with local business owners, revitalization experts, and marketing agencies, we will dive deep into the many reasons that our first option should be to shop at local businesses and keep our funds flowing in Polk County. More than ever, it is easy to shop abroad and in our tech-savvy and deliver-it-tomorrow community, it's wise to shop local. So what are the benefits of shopping local and how can you see a return on investment for the money that you are spending? Well, the answer is simple. Shop local and support small and mid-sized businesses. In studio with me today to talk about the importance of buy local and the, the extreme importance of our small and mid-sized business owners is Lena Stripling, who is the Executive Director of the Northeast Area Chamber of Commerce, and Miss Olivia, who takes care of all things fabulous and marketing at the Chamber. Welcome, ladies. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you. What do you offer to new members when they join your Chamber of Commerce, and why are you important to what they do? Um, I like to consider us a connector. So a small business comes in and they talk to us about um, joining the chamber and we like to, I like to find out, you know, what is your business about, what are you looking for from the chamber and then we'll connect them and we'll be a resource to get them connected within the community and help their business grow. We want to market them and um, help their business grow and be successful. Well, now talking about growth, as a nonprofit organization and a chamber of commerce, um, state recognized chamber of commerce, mm -hmm. uh, you recently grew big time. Uh, you mm -hmm. went from a Haines City designation to a Northeast area designation. Mm -hmm. Talk to me a little bit about why that is important for your chamber of commerce. Um, a couple of years ago, we had been considering the Northeast area is growing, uh, growing so fast. And um, we were the Haines City Area Chamber of Commerce. And Davenport didn't have a Chamber of Commerce and there were a lot of new businesses that are coming into that area and just didn't feel like they fit, fit into the Haines City Chamber of Commerce name. Mm -hmm. um, so we did consider and we, our board approved and we changed our name to the Northeast Polk Chamber of Commerce because it is inclusive of the whole Northeast Polk area. Um, many communities are involved with us and um, so I think that it was just perfect at the time. Now we know that a lot of businesses um, from other areas, not only of our county, but of our mm -hmm. state, often join local chambers of commerce to get their name out. And that's gonna bring mm -hmm. me to you, Miss Olivia, uh, because what I wanna talk about is the marketing aspect of what the chamber provides to new members, because marketing is such a crucial um, component within the business plan. Tell me a little bit about your, um, your social media platforms and, and how you market for the small and mid-sized business owners. Yeah, of course. Um, well, of course we do in-person marketing. So if they have any business cards, um, flyers, anything, we'll put that out in the lobby. So when we get visitors, they can take that back with them. Um, we also promote them through our website and our emails, which go out to all of our members and various community members that may not be directly involved with the chamber. And most of the time, anything that we'll promote through our emails, it's also going out on our social media platforms. So that's Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And we have different audiences kind of on each of those. So it is really helpful to utilize all three of those platforms. Now, I know that, that your organization does business development programming along with marketing you know, the networking socials that we are fortunately starting to see come back to life a little bit um, in wide open spaces, but we're yes. still able to do it and that's, yes. that's wonderful. Um, it sounds like the total package for a small business owner. Um, I know that, that um, in, in my career, I've always been a member of the chamber because I just can't afford the marketing that the chamber can do in one week, just in the newsletter alone that you can right. share. So. Lena, if you will, talk to me a little bit about your newsletter. It's very comprehensive, and um, I've read through several of them over the past few years, and I'm always excited to see a couple of things in that. What's current? Mm -hmm. Okay, big time, right? Because when we're very business as, or very rather busy as business owners, um, what happens to us is we don't have time to know what's really going on in our business community around us, and that, that newsletter seems to keep everyone connected at a level. 
Um, also, it's a great opportunity for businesses to, again, market. Tell us a little yes. bit about how you use the newsletter as a marketing tool. Um, the, any of our members are welcome to. It's free to them to send in an article or some information about an event they may be having or uh, a special that they're running. Or um, So that goes out once a, month, once a week on Mondays. Mm -hmm. And then all throughout the week, um, Edie does a fantastic job. She uh, handles all of our office. And um, without her, we couldn't do it. But it goes out on Monday and it it will keep you up to date with everything that's happening within the chamber if there's a business after hours going it also will um, keep you connected with the community events that are are going on um, if someone is looking for employ you know an employer or a, a worker that they need we also do that as well so it's just a great opportunity for the businesses to um, put information out that goes to hundreds um, probably thousands of folks that maybe aren't necessarily chamber members, but it does go out with that, you know, within the community. So it's a great resource for you to keep up with what's happening in our Northeast Polk area. Olivia, tell me about what you see as maybe new trends happening. You're just a little bit younger than the rest of us in business in this mm -hmm. particular meeting today. And I'm very interested to know what your take is on new business owners coming into the community. Yeah, um, well, I mean, at least from my perspective with my generation, I think social media marketing is very vital. Um, I know a lot of people, at least like me, for example, if I want to know about a new business coming into town, I'm going to search them on like Facebook, Instagram first. I want to see what they have going on there. Um, and we do have people coming in and asking us about businesses that are in the area. So of course, word of mouth, and that's where the networking really plays a big role of being involved in the chamber and making connections with other businesses or just coming to different events. But definitely using every media outlet that's available. Like for our new members, um, they get offers with local media outlets, two newspapers and a radio station, free advertising opportunities that that's just included with their membership. That's just beneficial to them to utilize that. So those are resources that they have that reduce their cost for marketing mm -hmm. should they go down that avenue in addition yes. to what you're already mm -hmm. doing. Yes. Yes, that's very exciting. That mm -hmm. is very exciting. Yes. Moving forward, um, and, and again, Olivia, I think this is for you. <laughs> Moving forward in business and, and as our new Generation Zers and our millennial population steps into uh, the, the position of entrepreneur, right? Um, it's expected that more than 188% of new business will come from those two generations. That's a lot. Okay, so that, that tells me that we're probably looking at one or two or maybe three businesses out of the same group. Um, are you noticing any of that right now? Um, we are noticing that. There are a lot of new businesses coming into the, to the community that we're finding out about and it is tending to be younger business owners and that's really refreshing and really mm -hmm. awesome just to see that that is happening um, that people are realizing hey I can start my own business and I can be successful and when they come to us for help if they're just starting out we will point them in the right direction tell them who to contact so they can go through all the proper steps to get started but then of course we also encourage them once you get started come back to us and we'll help you grow even further than what you could. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Lena, what is the difference in today's new business owner and I'm going to say 30 years ago, the new business owner in your opinion? Technology and social media platforms. <laughs> yeah. And um, I've definitely had to grow in that area. Um, that's why I'm so grateful to have Olivia because, <laughs> I mean, we really, we're finding that. that that's what they're looking for. You know, technology has changed, and social media is where a lot of the marketing is. Ladies, um, we're gonna we're gonna wrap up our interview for today, and I want to ask you both the same question: Why do you think the Chamber of Commerce is vital to new business, Olivia? Um, we just we help businesses connect and get their word out, um, whether it's a small business, midsize, even our large businesses. I mean, we help all of them connect with each other, and it's that word of mouth and those connections that really help them to grow and to thrive. And Miss Lena? 
I think the biggest thing is, is we're a ref we will refer them. You know, if they're a chamber member, we refer them because we know that we're there to help them grow. We get them connected within the community. Um, we, uh, there's so many opportunities for them to showcase their business through the chamber and through the events that we have. So I think it's important, you know, and I think that um, it, it's a great opportunity for you to showcase your business. Wonderful. I know you have a marketing piece with you today. If I you do. will just hold it up for us so um, we can see. Um, how, how should individuals contact you if they are interested in becoming a member of the chamber or just to ask questions about becoming a member of the chamber? Um, they can reach us on our website, which is www.northeastpolkchamber.com or um, they can contact us by phone. Um, we are, Google us, you know, 863-422-3751, uh, social media, but Northeast Polk Chamber of Commerce. We're right there in Haines City on 27. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us today on Heart of Florida Business 411. We appreciate all that you do on the Ridge completely. <laughs> thank you so thank much you. for having us and for the opportunity.